Hi, my name is Mark, and I'd like to talk about work order management inside of Striven. So currently, I've already got an estimate over to the customer with all the customer information and line item details that are needed. From this estimate, we've created a sales order, and we've also created a number of different work orders for our employees to complete. Everything from pick inventory items to schedule the work order to complete the field service task, and then also to create purchase order from this. We can see how everything's linked together. So we have our tasks that our team has to complete. If we need to order any additional pieces of equipment or materials from this sales order, we can do so. We can also make assignments to this particular order as well. But let's go into the task management in particular. So for this one, I've assigned Mark to pick the inventory items. If I click into this, I can see all the details that I've assigned to Mark. I can also create a discussion to say, need this done ASAP. When I send that note, that note is time stamped and date stamped as well. Mark would receive a notification, both if he's logged into the Striven system, as well as if he's not logged in, he would get a notification. He would also be notified when he's assigned this task in an open status. When Mark is notified of a new task assignment, what does it look like when he logs into the system? So here is an example of an iPhone X and what Mark would be able to see. So we're on the dashboard that we've created for our field services team, and we've limited the scope to show only the tasks or whatever you'd like to name it as that are open and a list of tasks that he's already completed. So for example, in my open tasks for today, I can click directly into one of the tasks, this weekly recurring cleaning. We can do recurring orders. We can add, you'll notice that this pink note is found in several areas of the system to include on orders as well. And these notes are helpful when you have things to pass to all your team members to say, for example, Lisa doesn't want to be called before eight o'clock in the morning. So this note is here. You can see all the information needed. We also have the ability to add custom fields to any of these. So for example, tracking mileage, standard order, uh, standard operating procedure, and the discussion capability as well. In here, you can take photographs and upload them on your phone by clicking the attach button. And that's very helpful to show your customers uh, as proof that you've completed a job. Uh, additionally, you may need to update the order. So maybe you need to charge the customer for additional piece of inventory equipment. You can simply go directly into the order details. Here we are with all of the line items available. And we can quickly add a new line item. Now going back to the order itself, you can see this one is in a approved status. We can see we have discussions related to it. We might have it related to an invoice or multiple invoices or multiple purchase orders. We have audit log tracing to see who's made what change and when. Ability to track by customer multiple locations, multiple contacts, track the sales rep for commissions, and even do things like, again, have recurring invoicing or specifying particular terms and conditions on a contract and allowing your customer to approve that. One way we make it very easy for a customer to approve is through the use of our customer portal. You'll notice here I'm logged in as Lisa. So this is the same order that we've had in our system here. Number five, it shows the details that are in each line item. It also has the terms and conditions and the ability for Lisa to make a wet signature all within the portal. The portal also makes it easy for Lisa to contact Mark back in the business to say, great, great work. 
Thanks. And Mark gets an immediate notification, whether it's on his phone or on his computer, that Lisa has sent a new message. The portal also makes it very easy to gather feedback from your customer. So for example, she was very satisfied with this service. You on the back end to manage your team, manage your customer satisfaction, and overall accomplish more.